Under his commission, IBC and other institutions roped in the upcoming election is set to be launched this morning. The team formed to promote peace ahead during and after the August 9 election is currently having its first meeting in Nairobi where its members are set to be unveiled and a code of conduct for the election signed. Our reporter David Muthoka is on that beat and joins us live. David, good morning to you. You are in attendance. What is the significance of this meeting? And why is it being formed now? Is there is it necessary? Is there any significance? Because we know it's just a matter of 27 days before elections. Well, good morning, and you got it right. Of course, we are barely 27 days to the August 9th general election, and of course, political temperatures have been on the rise with each passing day. And actually, uh, on that regard, we have just seen uh, the National Peace and Mediation Team uh, being formed that, as you said, it uh, will comprise uh, not only uh, the members of the clergy, but also other government institutions uh, that play a key role uh, in elections in the country. That includes the IEBC, the NCIC, and of course the Ministry of Interior and other non-governmental institutions uh, that have an eye on this uh, upcoming election. And so, yes, that team has been formed uh, earlier today in a closed door meeting that we understand uh, was uh, held and uh, the media were not actually allowed uh, to cover. And so we just stayed out here as the meeting took place. And we understand it's going to be chaired by Archbishop Jackson Olesa Pitt. And of course, uh, it says uh, it's set to play a crucial role, uh, as it says, uh, in fostering and promoting peace as we head to what has been taunted as uh, one of the heated elections in the country. And so a huge uh, role in that particular team is going to be played uh, by the men of the cloth. And right now, I'd like to be joined by Bishop uh, John Warari of the Interreligious Council of Kenya, who was in attendance but of course has uh, uh, told us uh, not to discuss what transpired in there because of course they are not allowed to do that. But just basically, what do you feel is the role of uh, the members of the clergy, especially in this upcoming election? Thank you so very much. Uh, the Members of the clergy are shepherds and their main role is a prophetic calling of being there. We call it the ministry of presence. We are there in all seasons, when things are good, when things are not very good. And we've been preparing uh, about this election for quite a while. It is a process, not an event. August the 8th will be the climax of all the many inputs that have been put by all sectors and i'm proud to say the uh, for the state that is the media has uh, also been working tirelessly to see to it that we look at facts we look and um, uh, we look at uh, issues uh, so the members of the clergy of course number one we have been praying number two we have been uh, talking to our constituents who are among them the politicians we shepherd the good and we shepherd the bad and we feel like uh, this time around we have our hopes very high because we've worked with our good people the politicians we have worked with all uh, uh, classes of people uh, the wanjiko and uh, we have been praying with them and giving them the hope messages that it's going to be okay. So we've met with the multi-agency teams. We have met severally with IBC. And we've been inquiring about their state of preparedness. And I'd like to assure, from our standpoint, assure our viewers that we are more than convinced that uh, uh, it's all system go because uh, the uh, stakeholders, they've been working very hard. Of course, we've had um, a lot of engagements with all the most stakeholders. And um, uh, my take is we are ready to go. But nonetheless, as we prepare ourselves for the August 9th, the thing is we have only one country. And the elections will come and go. And for the sake of continuity, we'd want to wake up on the 10th of August and go 
about our businesses. The Mama Mboga will go to her kiosk, the clergy will go to the mosque or to the church or the temple. You in the uh, media, you need to go to the offices and uh, give us information. Uh, so uh, peace is very paramount. But I would like to state also, peace is very fragile. Uh, what we have been building for many years can come down in a day. And so um, my persuasion, my plea to one and all, let us guard this peace. And uh, let us continue believing that the ninth will come and it will go and it will leave us stronger than ever. From the Interreligious Council of Kenya, which is a formation of nine religious uh, organizations, we have five of them Christians, we have three uh, from the Muslim brothers and sisters, and we have one from the Hindu. And for many years we have stayed together, despite the fact that we have different beliefs and faith, uh, there is one thing that has been holding us together. And the shared thing that has been holding us together is the fact, number one, we are Kenyans. Number two, we, we, we share the same values. For example, the issue of peace. Peace knows no tribal religion. Uh, peace is universal. And we have been nurturing and building that peace that is now taking us this far. So we look forward to working together uh, and I would ask Kenyans, please don't remain at home. If you have your uh, ID and you are registered voter, come out on that day. Uh, make your informed choice. Because of course, number one, again, as you go to vote, you must interrogate the kind of a person that you don't want to trust the future of this nation uh, with. Uh, for example, is that person a man or a woman of integrity? Uh, wh what is in that person's history? Because history informs us. And we are able to look at the trajectory and we can say, having looked and interrogated this person, we are sure he can lead this nation. Remember, we have... Um, children that are learning from us mm -hmm. and these children are not asleep. Yes. Remember we have the youth, 75 77% of our population are the youth and youth are honest. Youth, they are demanding truth mm -hmm. and from my side I would say we are prepared thank you Kenyans mm -hmm. for doing peaceful campaigns we will be back here and tell you thank you for uh, exercising your right of voting and voting peacefully. God bless Kenya. Thank you, Bishop. Of course, uh, that is the tech of the church, which of course is going to be a key player in the National Peace and Mediation team.